Okay, here's our video on scientific notation, part one. Now, scientific notation is just a way of taking a large number, a very large number, or a very small number, and making it shorter. That's basically what astronomers or scientists do. So let's look at an example. Okay, this is 120 billion. 120 billion, it's a pretty big number. We can make it smaller. The number as we see it now, this is in standard form. Standard form. Okay, so if I wanted to make this in scientific notation, here are the steps. We're going to take the first number, one, whatever it is, and then we're going to put a decimal. And then put any number that's not zero next. So we have a two, so we're going to put a two. And then we're not going to include any zeros. Then we're going to times it by base 10. By 10. And then we're going to count every number but the first one. So let's count. We have, start here, right? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We have 11 numbers. We're going to use that as our exponent. So the top number we see here, this is in standard form. And this would be in scientific notation. Okay? So again, it would look like this. 1.2 times 10 to the 11th power. So scientific notation is using powers of 10. Now let's say I had another number here, like 5. Let's just put a few zeros here. Let's make sure it fits. Okay, so we have this number here. How would you make that in scientific notation? This is a 560 million, 560 million. How would you put that in scientific notation? So right now it's in standard form. So again, take the first number and put a decimal. We're not going to put a decimal if there's no numbers higher than zero. But we have a six, so we're going to put the six down. And again, we don't include any zeros. We're going to times it by 10 always, so we always have this, and then just count every number but the first one. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And that'll be in scientific notation. Now, a lot of times, scientific notation is used when we're dealing with astronomy, because the stars and planets could be very far away. So this one comes up a lot, light speed. So the speed of light, we know that light goes 186,000 miles per second, right? Snap your fingers like that and light went around the world seven times. So this is what light will do in a year. It'll go six trillion miles. In one year, light will travel six, about, it's not exactly six trillion, but it's about six trillion miles. So how can we make six trillion miles? How can we make that in scientific notation? So try to do that one. Okay. So we have a six. Remember, we always use the first number. I don't have to put a decimal because there's no numbers bigger than zero that follow. So I'm just going to go six times ten. We always do ten. And just count all the numbers after the first one. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So that is about what light will do in one year in scientific notation. Again, this is in standard form, scientific notation. So when we do scientific notation, astronomy always comes up because it's very easy to look at it and understand. Our nearest star is called Alpha Centauri. And Alpha Centauri is about four light years away. It's a little more. It's about 4.37. So here's an extra credit question. Alpha Centauri. Our, now, it's not our nearest star. Actually, our sun is our nearest star, but... The second nearest star, or we say the nearest star to us, to, to our sun, is Alpha Centauri. And the trick about Alpha Centauri is it's actually two stars. There's Alpha Centauri A and Alpha Centauri B. So it's a binary system. And it's about 4.37 light years away. Now remember, light travels about 6 trillion miles in a year. So what would be a roughly, let's say just, let's just say 4 light years. We'll say four light years away. Alpha Centauri is four light years away. Roughly. How many miles would that be? And how would you put that in scientific notation? So you should pause the tape and try that.
Okay, so we remember it's about four light years, and light travels about six trillion miles a year. So it's about 24 trillion miles. Put that up there. Right, and 24 trillion miles. Now, this is not in scientific notation. It's in base 10. This is a proper answer, but it's just not in scientific notation. So 24 trillion miles is this shortened. But in scientific notation, you have to put the decimal. So it would be 2.4. Now, it's not going to be 10 to the 12th power. What do you think it would be? When you say 24 times 10 to the 12th power, that means the decimal is here. And all you have to do is go 12 more spaces and you will get that same number. But in scientific notation, we move the decimal back one, so it will actually be 13. So let's look at this. So we fit this in. We're going to put a decimal there and count all the numbers but two. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. This is the number in scientific notation. Okay, now there's another extra credit here. Actually, Alpha Centauri, in that system, there's two uh, stars. It's a binary system, but there's actually another star so it's almost like there's three stars in that system. It's called Proxima Centauri. And Proxima Centauri is actually closer than Alpha Centauri. So those three stars are actually within the same system. Okay, now since when we're dealing with space, the numbers can be extremely vast. So scientists even shorten it more. They'll have a word called parsec. Bring it down here. So a parsec just equals about, it's a little more, about three light years. Okay, and bring that over. So, how many miles would be in a parsec, in one parsec? So we know that light travels six trillion miles in a year. So in three years, it will travel 18 trillion miles. Not exactly, but we're rounding. So 18 trillion miles, how would you write 18 trillion miles in scientific notation? Okay, so we always use the first number. Put a decimal and the 8. If that was a 0, we wouldn't put a decimal. And we times it by 10, always. So this is Now, how many miles are in a trillion? Well, a trillion, how many zeros are in a trillion? So we know there's 12 zeros in a trillion. We have to remember that we put this decimal back one. So it'll be 1.8 times 10 to the 13th power. That's in scientific notation. And if we wanted to che check, this exponent right up here tells us how many times we should move this decimal. We'll move it 13 times. Let's bring this up. So if we had a 1 here, 1.8, I'll move it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. That's where the decimal will be, and just fill it with zeros. Every three is a period. And there we have our 18 trillion miles. So that's how much light will travel in three years, which is called, again, a, a parsec. Okay, so let's see if we can do this one now. 8 parsecs is 24 light years. And 24 light about and 24 light years is about 144 trillion miles. How would you write that in scientific notation? Okay? So again we have 1.44 times 10 to Now, if it was 1.44 here, this is where the decimal is. It's actually 1. 144.0, and there's a trillion miles, which means there's 12 zeros here. We have to go back to, so it'll be to the 14th power. Now, there are even greater distances out there in the galaxy, in the universe that is. Outside our galaxy, the Milky Way, there's another galaxy. Our nearest galaxy is called Andromeda. And Andromeda is so far away, it's 14.6 quintillion miles away. Not a trillion, quintillion. It will take light actually two and a half million years to get there. That's how far Andromeda is. So, quintillion. So we have million, then we have billion, we have trillion, 
we have quadrillion, then quintillion. So the number of zeros, right? We know that's six. There's six zeros in a million. There's nine in a billion, 12 in a trillion, 15 in a quadrillion, and there's 18 in a quintillion. So what do you think? How would you write 14.6 quintillion in scientific notation? Try that. Okay, so let's look at this. Remember, there's, there should be 18 zeros in a quintillion. So if I had one quintillion be a one, bring that down, one with 18 zeros that will follow, right? 18 zeros. So 14.6 quintillion, what's 14.6 quintillion? So it's actually saying 14 quintillion, six quadrillion miles. So you can roughly round it. You can say this is roughly 15 quintillion miles. Right? Got the I there. So it's 1.5 times 10. Remember, we said there was 18 zeros in a quintillion, but we moved it back one, so that'll be 19. That'll be the number in scientific notation. So you can see with scientific notation, you can take very large numbers and make them small. Okay, in our next video, we'll talk about very small objects, and we'll learn how we can make them, put them in scientific notation, like Streptomyces here, which is the bacteria in soil. So great job.